Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? About a month since I had my first official showing. It was at the Pancakes and Booze um, event. I believe it was in May, the beginning of May. So this video is pretty much for any artist who's experiencing a gallery for the first time, putting their stuff into a gallery. And I hope to give you guys some tips in the end because i definitely did learn a lot and when i got there i didn't really know what to expect um so yeah let's get into it first things first <laughs> um i kind of got the email like a few days prior to the actual show show i wasn't checking my email making sure like it went through or it didn't so it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing and then i just kind of forgot about it I had received an email saying uh, or asking if I was still going to be in the show and I was excited I was like hell yeah I'm gonna be in the show but then at that moment I started thinking about it a lot deeper and I was like wait I'm not even ready to be in the show like what out of it and I messaged the person who curated the show or who was kind of running it and I told him no like you know, just keep me informed about next time. Talking to my coworkers a little bit more about the show. They ended up like talking me into it and basically saying like, yeah, even if you're not ready, like at least you're still getting your name out there. You're getting your art out there. Like, which is, which is dope. Like, especially since it's your first time. Messaged the guy back, told him, yeah, I'll be in your show. Like I'll have a few pieces to put in and we can go from there. So the day before I ended up picking up some pieces from Ikea and then just making sure I picked the right pieces that I didn't want to be in the show. I'm getting a little bit more overwhelmed because I'm like, oh, like if I add anything more than two pieces, then I'm gonna have to pay for this. It's like, I already have to pay for the frames. I have to pay for now uh, three more submissions, which came out to about $45. It, I realized that the show is on a day that I'm scheduled to work and the installation of the pieces was during the time frame that I would be at work They're trying to figure out who could put the pieces up for me secondly I have never installed pieces on a wall especially with a screw gun so that on top of everything else was stressing me out not that my mother would be able to take the pieces there for me uh, if I had to work so I ended up finding coverage praise the Lord I go take the pieces to the place. It's, there's a bunch of like drywall, like setups all around this, or all around Catch One, which is really dope like to see, especially like bare walls. There's just a bunch of creatives there. It's very inspiring, as I said. There's people that are very seasoned because they brought their own paint to paint the drywall to make sure it matches the, the pictures that they're bringing or the artwork that they're putting into the place. All, like all the walls in this club, there's just stacks and stacks and stacks of paintings, pictures, t-shirts, all this stuff. Leave the place because they tell us that we could basically just set our pictures on any wall that we want to have our pictures on. And so I find a place by the bar. Yes, I picked a dope spot. Like all my pictures are gonna be on this wall. This is amazing. I think like, oh, these people like the, the contractors or whoever's setting up the, the drywall, like they're gonna understand how to put the pictures up and they're gonna make it look nice. <laughs> but I realized why a lot of the artists were putting up their own pieces onto the drywall. Uh, I realized that when I finally got back to the place, I ended up making like these little QR codes that was not enough like it was not enough at all i definitely need i definitely need to be more prepared as far as you know three days in advance of setting up my pieces like that wasn't enough time um i definitely would have liked to have at least a week or two in advance to make sure everything was set up perfectly as far as like the alignments and the picture goes the taping it down inside the frame um just making sure nothing shifts when it's being placed onto a wall the second thing i wish i would have had ready was business cards um a lot of the artists had business cards ready to pass out so like 
they show any interest that you know you'd be able to hand it out to them give it to them because like i said this on a picture in a frame this is not enough people are not whipping out their phones like trying to follow me so i definitely wish i had business cards ready the third thing that i wish i was more prepared on was just being in a mental state to be ready to just talk to a bunch of people um like i said i had gotten to an argument earlier that day and my mental state wasn't there like i wasn't really ready to talk to anybody um and i just wasn't ready to just like stand the whole night in front of my pieces and explain them to people um i think on my part that is a little selfish but at the same time like i don't want to give nobody no half-ass answer about something that i really like worked really hard on so i decided to just kind of enjoy the show and support all the other artists i am an artist if i'm going to continue this career like i definitely need to be able to mentally prepare and like snap myself into that mindset and in making sure like i create those connections with people because i love people like i really love people everybody there was hella dope i i got a few follows that night i didn't get many i didn't get as many as i expected i would get but that also too like not having expectations when you go to shows like this and like you're just kind of there to showcase who you are your art um and hopes of finding like your audience and your crowd either have a guide of how you want your pictures to be set up or just do it yourself and be prepared to do it yourself um i didn't really like the way my pictures were set up uh personally because some of the pictures that i wish had more attention were at the bottom of the wall. I wish they would have been in the middle. I like the one that they put on top um, as a top piece. The piece that basically, if you're standing at the end of the at the end of the room, like you could see it. You could still see it. I like that choice. But other than that, like I definitely wish the placement was different. So just being mindful of having a guide the next time I do a show like this. Um, and if I don't have a guide, then being able to just put it up myself and. It was a really cool show. The vibes were really dope. Like, it was so amazing just to see all those artists with all the different talents and like all their styles. It was so, it was nice to see and it was nice to be a part of. I actually ran into my little cousin there. So I am definitely grateful for that. I wanna have more of a preparation period. Um, preparation age preparation period to make sure everything is the way I want it to be um and just up to my standards because that was not up to my standards and it just kind of seemed a little rushed in all honesty um by the way Ikea did not know this about Ikea but if you're an artist and you are struggling it's not recommended but if you buy frames and you don't sell anything like you can definitely take those frames back I was thinking about it but the frames that I got are like plastic so they were scratched and I definitely want to keep the frames so like if I do have pictures just I want to be able to frame them and take pictures of them just to show like the aesthetic of, like, I'm gonna keep the frames and just take that that $145 L it's okay it's okay because experience is worth more than $145 but yeah so that's it I hope these tips help you if you're going through like <clears throat> your first gallery showing um and you just kind of don't know what to expect I other than that like the artists were nice the staff was nice um the paying for my for my submissions was easy uh, picking my wall was easy they're early because the walls were being taken up pretty fast I definitely hope that some of this might help you in the future if you are planning on showing your artwork also if you're an artist please please put your link or whatever at the bottom in the comments thank you guys for watching um, I really appreciate y'all I really appreciate everyone and Yes, I did get a fish. His name is Sheldon back there. 
um he's a new addition to my family and i hope he lives for a while <laughs> uh other than that peace y'all until next time i hope you guys have a good day good week good month and yeah i'll see you all next time bye